When we were exploring the driveway, we found that it should actually be wider than it is at the moment. Somewhere behind all of these bushes behind me is a wall that runs alongside the driveway. Today, we're gonna to cut the bushes down and try and take the driveway back to find that wall. This is the driveway leading down to the station. As you can see, it's really overgrown. It's currently about nine foot wide between the greenery on the left and the trees on the right. What we didn't realize until now anyway, is that it should be a lot wider than it actually is. There's a wall that runs right the way down and actually marks the edge of the driveway. This is great news because it means we should be able to easily create some more space. We're really gonna need wider access for the renovation. So the sooner we can get this done, the better. As you get closer to the station, you can see how overgrown this is. But I bet at one point when this was well tended, it was a beautiful entrance. If you look here, you can just about see that wall at the edge of the driveway. The only old photo we have of the front of the old station is this one. You can see that there is a track where the driveway is now. This must have been used as some kind of road or pavement as there's a street lamp on there. On the very left, you can see a dark patch that could have been banking and then what looks like a plant growing. So although things have changed over the years, the driveway is in the same place as the former track or pavement. It will be nice to take it back to its original size. Back to the driveway as it is now and there's more bushes and brambles. Then we're just coming up to the path up to the secret garden. I've got some more to show you on that later. As we get to the end of the driveway close to the house, you can see an actual wall and a bush growing on top of the wall. This isn't a job for today, but something we will get to at some point. Our plan was to cut down all of the bushes along the driveway in one day. Let's see how we got on. First off, we got a new brush cutter, which we were really excited to use, but we had to put it together first. When I say we, I mean my husband. Putting fun new tools together is not something he wants help with. A couple of pieces got lost and there was lots of stomping and banging, but we got there in the end. Then it was time to try out the new brush cutter. This was great fun. Not so much for me, of course, because I had the job of tidying up. I'd like to say the dogs helped, but they didn't. They just want to have fun and play. I did, however, find a shoe and a boot underneath the bushes. There was so much rubbish under there. After I separated all the rubbish, I piled all the greenery up so we can take it to be recycled. After some brush cutting, we went back to cutting the bushes down. It was a really strange day weather-wise, with one minute it being really cloudy and the next really sunny. It didn't seem like there was too much to cut down, but it actually took us most of the day to get down to those palm trees, which is only around a third of the way down the drive. There were so many brambles and vines intertwined with everything. It took a long time to cut anything down. It was so much fun and satisfying though, seeing the progress that we're making. On day two of clearing, we were feeling motivated and ready to go. We're on day two of clearing the long driveway. It's absolutely freezing, but we've got loads to do, so we better get started. We started off by getting rid of some of the dead leaves from the palm trees. I really like these trees, but Gil's not sure about them. He's debating if we should take them down because they're not in keeping with the Victorian station. If you have any thoughts on this, your views are more than welcome. We got back to clearing those bushes, Gil cutting them down and me piling them up ready for recycling. With, of course, us taking some time out to play with Buddy and Winston. We did eventually start to make some progress and get a bit further down the driveway. You can see here the way the old vines and brambles are all intertwined with the bushes. The amount of green waste we have so far from the garden is really piling up. So this is all the green waste that we've cut down so far. There's absolutely loads of it. Luckily, we have got a really good plan for this. So it stretches right back here. And you can see all of this here. And then if I actually go around the corner, we have so much more of it as well. Piles. 
This is actually looking a little bit smaller because we cut this down a couple of months ago. Um, but we're really lucky that we have got a really good plan for this. And we will be able to get rid of it and recycle it. Fantastic, all those bushes are down, on two thirds of the driveway anyway. So far we've been able to take down the bushes up to around two thirds of the way down the driveway. Instead of moving on to the bushes at the bottom of the driveway, we decided to clear the foliage instead to see if we can find that wall. But before we do that, there's something I wanted to show you that we found in the secret garden. We found something in the secret garden that I wanted to show you, so let's go take a look. So the secret garden is opposite the house and there's these little steps here which are completely covered with ivy. Uh, so I have to be really careful when I'm walking up them. You wouldn't know this was here at all at the moment, but when we do clear it, you will be able to see it. So as we walk up, there's a little wall along the side which is absolutely covered with ivy. And then um, on the right hand side then are lots of bushes. So when you come up here, what you can see if you look to the left is a little bit that juts out. Now, we don't know exactly what this is, but you can see it's some kind of balcony-ish area. Um, so it looks like there's walls there where the wall continues forward and you should actually be able to stand in there um, and look out. Now, we have no idea what this would be for at all and we do need to do a lot of clearing to get it all uncovered but this is going to be one of our projects which is going to be so much fun to do and a real surprise when we clear it and see what's under there i've jumped down to the driveway and i'm just looking up at the trees and behind the palm tree that's where you can see that little platform or balcony area completely covered in ivy and i've no idea what it's there for but it's, it could be really pretty. It could be really lovely in a little uh, area to sit on and, and look out. So for now, what you can see, you can actually see a tiny bit of wall there. So you can see that bit of wall and all of this wall then. And in the middle, there's um, must be some bricks that have fallen off because there's ivy cover in them there. So this is going to be really good fun to uncover at some point in the future. Not a priority, but lots of fun. Back to clearing, and we started to see more of that wall starting to appear. But it turned out not to be wall, it was curb stone that ran all the way down to the end of the drive. Completely covered by moss, ivy, brambles and bushes. You can also see where this encroached onto the driveway, taking up loads of space. When we got a little further down and the brambles weren't very thick, we were able to make use of the mower. And then we got to use the brush cutter again. So we did three days of cutting down and uncovering to see what we could find on the driveway and to extend it so it's wider than it was. This is what we've done so far. So as you can see, we've had a skip delivered in the time um, that we've been clearing the driveway. We've cut down the bushes that are next to the path that goes up to the secret garden. Uh, we then cut down the bushes in front of these palm trees and we thin those out slightly. Uh, you can see uh, some of the dead leaves there that we haven't taken away yet. And really importantly, what we can see are those curb stones that we found. So the driveway is a lot wider, so it's about 14 foot wide. And you can see that the curb stones run right the way down. There's still lots of clearing to do. We're not there yet. Um, it's taken us three days so far and it's been really, really good fun. Um, I know there's quicker ways that we could do this, but actually we're really enjoying it. And that's um, one of the most important things about this project is we want to enjoy it. We want to enjoy the building, enjoy the gardens and just have fun while we're doing it, which we've really done so far with uh, clearing this driveway. But we've run out of time, back to work and um, we will have to pick this up on another weekend. Subscribe to the old station 
renovation to see our journey.